Nestled along the coast of West Africa is the nation of Ghana, a population that prides themselves on their faith and hospitality. And that brings us to our host here, Jonathan Mensa, national team and crew SC defender with an unwavering commitment to the children of Ghana. Good morning, everyone. We're here today to visit you guys, to spend some time with you guys and make uh, some donations. All the kids that we see around here are all orphans being left on the street, by the police station or anywhere. This lady has taken all this responsibility to, to be their mother, their father figure, and uh, it's just it's something really dear and close to my heart. The foundation staff, Jonathan Menzo Foundation, most of the time what we do is we send uh, our team to come over here to ask them of the things they need, like immediately, so that we can provide for them and then look at the long-term things they need us. 215 kids here. How do you do it? It's not easy. When I say it's not easy, I've been a straight child before, so that motivates me to ask myself, what can I do to save my siblings on the streets? When we met Mr. Jonathan, we were sleeping in the bamboo structure. There was no building. What it used to be was like, was all mad. I was like, oh, this is not good, you know. Seeing them go through all this, I, 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 was, I was eager to come help. Who do you say? How many is here? You know you need uh, a bunch of stuff, you know, rice, maize, beans, ceiling fans, everything. You know, we brought some, but we know it's not uh, enough. What are some of the challenges that these children face? Children in our part of the world face a lot of challenges. Malnutrition, getting clothes, shoes, socks, how to go to school. So these are daily challenges that children face. From where we are now, which is the new site, to the old site, which is the school now, it's a long distance. To walk from, from home to school, yes. how many minutes is that walking? It takes them two hours, 40 minutes. And then they have to go to school all day? Yeah. And the work that you've done has helped them renovate the school, the school's in better shape, and then build where we are now, the home. So two separate places, a school and a home, but there's more that needs to be done. Yeah. You guys are never alone. We're always with you guys and we support you like massively. So we say God bless you too. Amen. God bless you so much. Thank you. God bless you. We use the result fruits of sports to bring smiles, to bring hope to the abandoned in society. Hey! Some of these kids will never have the opportunity of experiencing certain things if not for the goodwill of people. There's more for us to do. There are more homes we need to visit. We cannot do it alone. Yeah, we need more hands to save life. I want to be there for them. I want to be their parents. I want to be their friend, their brother. We want to do our best to always provide for them. The donation is just, you know, a bonus thing, but they need our love. They need to feel us. I love doing this. Whenever the time is up for me to leave for work, I'm like, oh, I have to leave, but I have to go do a job and come feed my kids. Jonathan has done so much, but he wants to do more. By the end of this year, he wants to get a bus to help eliminate that long walk to school every day. And you can help. You just click on the link below. That's a wrap from Accra, Ghana. We'll see you on the next episode of Beyond the Stands.